Hello everyone, welcome to my NetSec YouTube channel. Everybody knows we can get Azure for free from Microsoft Azure website, which is trial account to give you 30 days, $200 for free to use. So USD, 200 credit. And also you always get the 55 plus service, always free once you have Azure account. Those popular service free for 12 months. So that's the standard thing everybody knows. But actually, I'm going to show you there's lots of other ways to get a free account from Azure, such as you can get a student account, which you get the $100 free credit to use and renewable as long as you have student account, which will be required to verify every year. Of course, you also get those free services from a free account, those always free services and then one year free services, those also gonna be free. And if you have developer account, you also can get whatever the credit you have based on your Visual Studio subscription. You also can get those free accounts, free services and always free services. The fourth one is temporary Azure Sandbox subscription. So I'm going to show quickly. So those website for the student account here, as long as you have student email address, you should be able to get the free $100 Azure credit every year, renewable. If you do have Visual Studio Professional or Enterprise subscription, then you qualify to set up a free Microsoft 365 E5 developer subscription. It used to be free, not only for subscriber, but the Microsoft change your policy. Now you have to have certain Visual Studio subscription to get a free account. As long as you have this Visual Studio subscription, then you should be able to get a free credit to use those free Microsoft 365 E5 developer license. Other than that, this is uh, another way you can get some kind of free license to use, which is from Learn Platform, Microsoft Learn Platform. You can get a Learn Sandbox subscription temporary for a couple of hours while you're doing the training. I do have some videos and posts to show you those basic things, how you can get free account checking those videos and blog post under this video to get more information. For this video, I'm gonna assume you already signed up a free Azure account, which requires you have a credit cards, your personal information to be verified, and then Microsoft gonna give you 200 US dollar credit to use for the first 30 days. After that, you can use those popular services for 12 months. But there's a recent changes regarding IP address. It used to be able to get a basic school for the public IP free for charge, but Microsoft stopped that. You won't be able to create one from the web GUI and starting from September 30, 2025, basic SQL public IP will be retired. In this video, I'm also going to show you how you can use the command line to get this basic school public IP address. So now let's jump into it. So if you haven't have a Azure account, then you can go to azure.microsoft.com webpage and then you can see try Azure for free. Um, if you already have an account like me, you will probably get this message to say, it looks like you already have an Azure account and you need to sign up for a pay as you go subscription or use that exist. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my existing subscription to continue to use. I already have two free virtual machines created before, one for Linux, one for Windows. Both virtual machines are free to use as long as you meet the criteria for those virtual machines and you can free to use for 12 months. I'm going to show you how you can create this one because it does have some small tricks to adjust the settings, else you will get charged. Now let's start creating a virtual machine. That's the purpose of this video. 
to show you how to create real free virtual machines without any charge. Click on create as your virtual machine. So here you can go through all those steps. You're gonna create a new resource group. Okay, now give a name, choose a region. Don't choose availability options here. If you don't need that, free subscription doesn't give you this option. Security type doesn't matter. And then you need to choose your image. Here is the previous image I chose Ubuntu Server 24.04 LTS version. For the size, you will see two different sizes here, standard P280S, standard P1S. So this can, and then you can choose the username password here. Since it's a Linux, the default inbound ports SSH22 has been selected. So those are the first page and next disk. It's also very tricky. For us to use free services, you may want to use a 64 gig P6. This is the only free eligible to use. It's a premium SSD, SD locally done in the storage. This page is the big one for you. If you didn't choose right, then you will get charged. Public IP. You may notice there's a new public IP, but recent changes, the basic public IP address is not able to be created in the web UI. Basically, you cannot create a basic one. So this is not basically, it became a standard one. When you click create, the skill option is only for standard. It's no way you can change it to basic here. And it's static. That means the charger will be here, almost $3 per month for public IP. You can choose none, review and create. Other settings will be default. Let's create that. We didn't choose public IP here because there's no free school for us to choose. Deployment succeeded. Let's go to resource. Now you can see there's no public IP address. If there's no public address, how are we going to connect to it? That's the point. This is free, but we need to get a public IP address to connect to it, which we can create it. Use Azure Cloud Shell command. This is Azure Cloud Shell command we're going to use. So we do need to tell in then where to create it. it we're going to create it in free Linux, this resource group. We're going to name it free Linux. We're going to name it as a PIP basic free Linux. So location was the US2, SQU basic, and this is dynamic. Beautiful. So let's give it a run. It does give us a uh, argument unrecognized. So we're going to delete this one since by default it will generate IPv4 address for us. So it's recommended to create a SKU standard. But we still, we don't want to pay for it, at least for now. Go to network settings. Click configure. IP config one. It's dynamic static internal IP. We're going to associate a public IP address with it. You already create one here. PIP basic free Linux. Save. Now we get the public IP address here. We can give it try to connect to it. SSH. Yes. Put the password that we created before during the creation. Bam, we are in. And that public IP address is 
let's take a look public IP addresses look at this public IP address we just created West US basic school IP address that's the process how you can create real free VMs in Azure free services for 12 months Here is another way you can create those free VMs once you have free service account. You can go to the Azure Marketplace. Uh, if you don't know how to go to there, just search Marketplace and you will see this Marketplace option here. Uh, once you get in here, just search in the Marketplace, use a free account virtual machine. So now you see this option here, just click one of them. You will see three different icons to show you free account virtual machines. It's the same. You just click any of them. So then you can create a free account virtual machine. Basically, this is already pre-built as your template with configuration for an easy deployment. Here I will tell you what you will get, 750 hours standard B1, B2 ATS, and the B2 PDS Linux virtual machine. And you can get 750 hours standard B1, B2 ATS Windows virtual machine, two P6 manager disks. Not like previously, we have to choose and find out the right size of the VM and the right size of the manager disk. Here you can directly create, they will pick those for you since they defined it already in a template. So let's create a new resource group, gave a name. Now you will see that even the image disk, they already gave you the option. They don't give you all others. This is already pre-built here. Those are purpose-built image, which you can use create uh, this type of free VM to use. The core one doesn't have a web GUI, so we may want to use this one or as you want, so those two will be your option here. Um, also for the size, you don't see hundreds of the size of, uh, for you to choose here because the free service eligible size is only two of them for the windows. So you can choose either of them and then you put the username, password. The port will be 3389 since this is windows, typical 3389 remote desktop service port. As you can see, they even don't give you the option to choose a disk. But that's fine with us since it's all the everything is being created by template. We will create and take a look. Deployment is in progress. There's one thing I want to notify you is a public IP address. So this one, so we got a public IP address. We didn't get option to change or to set up the right school we want, which is basic one. So let's see what they gave to us. They gave us dynamic. It's basic here as well. So that's perfect. So basically, if we use those marketplace to create our free VMs, you will get, actually get the free Retiring soon public IP address, which is basic SQU and the dynamic IP address. That's exactly what we want. Another thing you may want to check is disk. As you can see, it's a premium SSD LIS disk type and a 64 gigabyte, which is P6. It's also free. As you can see, the disk tier is P6. So that's how you can get free VMs. Two ways, one is manual creating, you need to pick the right one. Another way is using marketplace pre-built template to create one, which is much easier. I hope this video gives you some ideas how to get your real free VMs with recent Microsoft changes their policy for public IP SKU. If you get something from this video, please give me some up. Also, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. That will give me great support. Thank you for watching. See you in my 
next video. Thank you.